Hey guys, how is it going? Sam here. Welcome to another video on Sam's AWS Learning Series. This is session two of uh, database service introduction. In our last video, we have covered bunch of you know uh, offerings from AWS under uh, database services category. And let's continue with that. The very first offering uh, we wanted to discuss on is uh, Redshift, Amazon Redshift. This is a data warehousing solution. If you guys are wondering what this data warehouse is, uh, I'll, I'll explain it in a bit. So Amazon Redshift, it's a fast, fully managed data warehouse that makes it simple and cost effective to analyze all your data using standard SQL and uh, your existing BI business intelligence tools. So this allows you to run complex analytical queries against petabytes of structured data using sophisticated query optimization, columnar storage on high performance local disks and massively parallel query execution. So this is what uh, uh, Amazon Redshift does. It's a data warehousing solution. And uh, you know, the next uh, sentence, uh, it talks about how cheap it is. I mean, uh, you don't need to have, uh, you know, huge amount and you don't need to invest uh, all of it in uh, uh, this sort of you know data warehouse solution normally you know data warehousing solutions are you know uh, too costly but uh, that's not the case with amazon redshift that's what i wanted to highlight here and moving on uh, let me tell you what uh, data warehouse is see uh, the current trend in the industry is this um, you know business logic uh, you know business will be running and uh, you will have a back end data right i mean you will have a database your own database wherein all your data is stored and the current trend in the in the industry is something like you know have a data warehouse parallelly and run all your you know reports analytical operations analytical algorithms your you know queries if you wanted to create a you know rich visual dashboard take the data from the data warehouse not from the database so there is this isolation between your database which has all your data and then uh, you know with your uh, data warehouse so this data warehouse it will you know the name says it all right that's a warehouse for uh, all your data and uh, the amount of data it will be insane guys i mean uh, it will be you know tons and tons of data uh, it uh, even you know goes beyond petabyte a uh, scale of data for a typical organization so it will be an exact copy of of your you know database but it will be you know uh, focusing more on the performance and uh, things like that and you know uh, as of today uh, many data warehousing solutions are available and uh, they are you know too costly the idea is simple isolate your database and make it available only to your uh, application this data warehouse it will contain the replica or it will contain all your data and it will be you know structured uh, aligned structure uh, in a structured manner and there on the data warehouse you can you know run queries you can uh, run reports uh, you can you know run your own you know filters you can have your own analytical engines running on them and uh, that you know results we expect them to you know uh, be very quick uh, it should not you know uh, take too much time that's the idea behind this the moment you start running these kind of you know reports uh, analytical operations on the database it gets you know loaded right so in order to avoid that there is this data warehouse concept and uh, idea is to you know simply run all your you know uh, business uh, use reports dashboards analytical tools or algorithms on the data within the data warehouse so that's why we use a uh, data warehouse uh, so uh, let me you know read out uh, this to you data and uh, analytics uh, have become you know indispensable to business uh, uh, to stay competitive business use reports uh, dashboards and uh, analytical tools to extract insights from their data monitor business performance and uh, support decision making correct uh, so it makes sense right uh, you will be you know performing so many analysis you wanted to understand how you are you know uh, organization is performing how do you do it you have to you know analyze your data right and for that you will be you know relying on a data warehouse simple as that and these reports dashboards and analytical tools are powered by data warehouses which uh, store data efficiently to minimize io input output and uh, deliver query results at a blazing speeds to hundred and thousands of uh, users concurrently so that's the uh, you know idea behind the uh, uh, data warehouse and uh, this is you know mainly used for business intelligence not for you know supporting your uh, application or something like that it has no connection with the application but it has a connection with business intelligence if you wanted to create a rich uh, sort of you know visual dashboard uh, 
you know filled with uh, all your you know analysis so this quarter this many uh, uh, sales happened uh, this is how uh, we are you know progressing or something like that for those kind of uh, uh, you know visual dashboards creation you will have to you know rely on data warehouse that's a current trend and uh, for this yeah from amazon it is redshift and as i said told you uh, cost wise it is superb performance we have uh, you know we have seen some great improvement plus it is easier to use so that's that and moving on to the next offering from amazon under database uh, we have got elastic cache amazon elastic cache is a web service that makes it easy to use uh, deploy operate and scale an in memory data store or a cache in the cloud so this is the in memory data store uh, the service improves the performance of uh, web applications by allowing you to retrieve information from a fast managed in memory data st uh, stores instead of uh, relying entirely on uh, slower disk based databases so this is the concept uh, you have a database and uh, your application is you know connected with the database so each and every time uh, you access database the load will be too much and the performance will be you know impacted uh, there will be you know latency and uh, things like that and there is this uh, concept in memory cache wherein uh, you know a cache is available and all the you know frequently used data will be kept in that cache you don't need to you know reach uh, to the database uh, for retrieving those uh, frequently accessed data it is available in the cache and your connection will be quick there won't be any latency there won't be a, you know serious hit to the performance performance will be improved so in order to maximize the application performance uh, it will not you know the traffic will not route to uh, the database but it will be there it will be connected to the elastic cache which has the you know frequently accessed data or whatever data you want you can you know put it there uh, that's the concept of uh, elastic cache and amazon elastic cache supports two open source in memory engines uh, one is you know um, redis it's a fast open source in memory data store and cache amazon elastic cache for redis is a uh, redis compatible in memory service that delivers the ease of use and the power of redis along with the availability reliability and performance suitable for the most demanding applications both single node and up to 15 uh, shared clusters are available enabling scalability up to 3.55 tip of uh, in memory data so it's it's huge right even the in memory uh, cache the elastic cache uh, size of it it's uh, insane and elastic cache for redis is fully managed scalable and secure making it uh, an ideal uh, candidate to power high performance use cases such as web mobile applications gaming ad tech and uh, uh, internet of things so these kind of things will be relying on uh, redis uh, and uh, that's how elastic cache will be you know deployed and uh, the next uh, thing uh, the next type it's uh, memcached a widely adopted memory object caching system elastic cache is a protocol compliant with memcached uh, so popular tools that uh, you use today with existing memcached uh, environments will work seamlessly with a service with the service i mean it, it's up to you you can you know uh, go with memcached or uh, redis but again redis is open source and uh, people tend to use it but again you have the freedom to you know choose among uh, any of these and amazon elastic cache automatically detects and replaces failed nodes reducing the overhead associated with self managed uh, infrastructure and provides a resilient system that uh, mitigates the risk of overloaded databases which uh, slow website and application load times through integration with amazon cloudwatch amazon elastic cache provides enhanced visibility into key performance metrics associated with your redis or memcached nodes using amazon elastic cache you can add an in memory layer to your infrastructure in a matter of minutes by using aws management console so that's the beauty of it uh, think about a you know typical application architecture wherein you have a front end ui then uh, there is this user trying to you know hit that uh, wherein the application requires a database connectivity and uh, as i told you there will be a delay uh, if you know concurrently or in parallel uh, maybe you know thousands of uh, users are you know trying to access access the application what happens you know thousand new connection to the database will be fired and obviously there i mean the application will take a hit right i mean in terms of uh, the performance in terms of the you know um, everything uh, there will be you know network delay there will be you know latency there will be uh, performance issues user will be you know waiting in queue 
just to you know get the query result and the application will you know behave uh, very slowly in that times so during those situations you can you know uh, if you have elastic cache set up that too in a matter of minutes you can you know uh, get it up and running uh, if it is you know uh, amazon uh, with the help of aws management console if you have it in place the connections will be you know uh, much quicker uh, people will be you know the users will not be you know experiencing that sort of a delay application will be stable so the performance wise it's it's going to be superb in in that kind of you know use case and that's what i wanted to tell you uh, elastic cache it exists just because of you know uh, shielding your database it will you know help the database uh, during you know difficult times i mean uh, improve uh, improved performance is guaranteed if you use elastic cache and moving on to the next offering from amazon under database category it is amazon dynamo db accelerator uh, known as you know dax or dax so this is relatively new service and it is you know currently in preview i guess Uh, fully managed in memory cache for dynamo db uh, this is uh, offered for you know dynamo db and uh, just like you know elastic cache this is uh, a dedicated service in memory cache service for dynamo db it reduces uh, dynamo db response time from milliseconds to microseconds this dynamo db it's already you know very fast and quick guys uh, plus uh, if you have this dax set up on top of that that's it look at the you know performance improvement it will uh, um, you know increase or it will reduce the dynamo db response time from milliseconds to microseconds think about it and yeah uh, amazon dynamo db accelerator is a fully managed highly available in memory cache for dynamo db that delivers up to 10 times performance improvement that's something we need to you know uh, look at and uh, i don't think we will be able to do a lab on this but anyway let, let's give it a try uh, we'll see and uh, moving on to the next item we have uh, aws dms dms stands for database migration service i was telling you about this right i mean we were talking about this uh, amazon database migration service it helps you to migrate databases to aws easily and securely uh, the source database remains fully operational during the migration minimizing downtime to applications that uh, rely on the database the aws database migration service can migrate your data to and from most widely used commercial uh, and open source database so any sort of you know database database migration you can you know use a uh, aws dms service i've used it uh, uh, you know in uh, two of my projects it was huge the migration uh, very first one was uh, migrating uh, sql database to uh, amazon aurora that was you know huge i mean plus uh, Uh, you know we we have seen some scenarios wherein we were migrating oracle to uh, aws databases even there the beauty of it is you know this guys uh, your current application uh, which might be you know running with the you know conventional database maybe in oracle or uh, sql or whatever it is without you know downtime you don't need to you know do anything with the database let it you know up and run and uh, you start the dms i mean migration operations with the help of dms that's it it will be migrated uh, you know parallelly where in your database is up and running so there is no downtime you don't need to you know wait for the green zone you don't need to wait for anybody you can you know start the migration just like that in matter of you know minutes and uh, the service supports a uh, homogeneous migration such as oracle to oracle as well as a uh, heterogeneous migrations between different databases platforms such as oracle to amazon aurora or my uh, microsoft sql server to mysql those are you know just example so it it does you know provide a uh, 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 homogeneous migrations or uh, heterogeneous migration support and uh, it also allows you to stream data to amazon redshift amazon dynamo db and amazon s3 from any of the supported source including amazon aurora postgres sql mysql maria db oracle sap ac uh, sql server and mongo db enabling consolidation and easy analysis of data in the petabyte scale data warehouse aws uh, database migration service can al- also be used for continuous data replication with high availability so you know if you if you are you know someone who works on uh, uh, the database side or maybe you know you are a system administrator who 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 gets you know involved in all the migration activities yeah this is something which is very very essential and uh, which will be you know uh, which will be you know really useful it'll uh, it'll it'll you know simplify the whole process the migration process 
and AWS DMS benefits. It's simple to use. There is no need to install any drivers or applications and it does not uh, require changes to the source database in most cases. Uh, you can begin a database migration with uh, just a few clicks in the AWS management console. So that that's what uh, we were, you know, uh, I told you, right? I mean, when we did the migration, it was, you know, very quick and simple. Um, um, we have to give the database details in the AWS console and that's it. Pretty much that's it. You have to define the target. That's it. Uh, the database migration was, you know, uh, it was you know like happening without any any sort of you know issues zero downtime um, i did uh, tell you this aws database migration service uh, helps you to migrate your database to aws with virtually no downtime supports most widely used databases low cost migrating a terabyte uh, size uh, database can be done uh, for as little as you know three dollars yeah it is you know uh, considering other uh, you know databases and uh, their licenses uh, the effort we have to put in for migration operation uh, this is you know simple and uh, cost wise yeah if it is effective and it is cheap this applies to both homogeneous and heterogeneous migrations for of uh, any supported databases fast and easy to set up you can you know set up a migration task within minutes in the aws ma uh, management console reliable uh, the aws uh, database migration service is highly resilient and self healing so it detects you know if there is a failure it, it tries to you know correct it auto auto healing is there you don't need to worry about it at all and that being said i think we are done with our intro uh, introduction session we will uh, do a you know uh, lab um, in the upcoming video i'll see you in the next video guys thanks a lot for watching